Hi, Brittany here. Um, I just got some new makeup items in today, so uh, we're going to do our makeup. Um, and you might see this little guy right here. Um, he will be running in and out of the video. Um, he is my little squirrely friend. That is Rocky. And uh, I'll tell you the story on him while we do our makeup. Um, but he is currently having his free time. Um, I let him out of his cage just about every day. Um, I either play with him or I just let him out like this. And he pretty well stays right there on that dresser. And his cage is actually right there. Excuse my dirty room. Um, so you'll probably see him running out of the corner there. But anyway, um, I'm using pharmacy makeup today. My sister actually sells this. And I got some new items. I've been using it for a little while. So I'm very excited to try my new things. Um, so we're starting off with a clean face. Um, I did just wipe it down with baby wipes because um, I already had put on my makeup today and been running around town and whatnot. So finally had a chance to sit down this evening. Um, so clean face. Um, and we're starting off with this pharmacy CC cream. Lot number one, I am very fair. So that's my shade. Um, and I'm using this old brush. This is not pharmacy. Um, this is all I have right now. But it's NYX Professional. It's old. Um, it probably needs to be cleaned. Um, but this is what we're using today. Okay, and I also have a beauty blender. Nothing fancy. BSB. It's not clean either. But this is what we're using. Okay, and typically I would put a little lotion on my face. But my lotion is behind the phone <laughs> so pretend I got lotion on um and I do know pharmacy has a really nice primer um I don't have it yet so just pretend I put some lotion or primer on um okay so we're gonna start off with this all right and I just use my brush can you see here I like that all right and we just go in under the eyes. And y'all, this is actually my first video ever doing anything like this. So, pardon me if it's no good or if I'm doing something weird. A little more and I like this foundation because it's pretty buildable so if you like a lighter coverage you can totally do that if you're like me and you have a lot of redness or acne scars or whatnot you can use the second layer okay so anyway you just blend that in you know, I really do need a new brush. Um, my sister told me that there are brushes from Pharmacy. I just did not see them when I ordered my stuff, or I probably would have ordered new ones. So, um, I'll be ordering again in the next week or two. So, I'll order me some new ones. All right. And I will go ahead and tell you, I don't have a ton of products from them yet. Um, but what I have, I like. Or what I've used from them, I like. But, um, I do have some today that I hadn't even used yet, so we're going to try those. Okay, blend down. Um, now I will say this stuff is pretty good for, like, covering scars. As you can see, it has a really, like, soft finish. Um, I have this scar right here from when I was a kid. And so, like, if I wanted to, I could come down here and cover that. Um. Uh, and I know a lot of people have scars on their face, on their forehead. Um, sorry, little guy back there is doing something weird. Um, I have a scar right here. Uh, as you can see there, my, my hair kind of parts weird. Um, I ran into a power pole when I was a kid. Um, you know, like here's your power pole and that old thing comes to the ground and it's got that yellow plastic on it. Um, while I was at school playing with my friends and I, I was running up this hill and I was looking behind me laughing at my friends and um, 
when I turned around that was there and the plastic piece was broken and cut me right in my hairline. So I have a little weird thing there. Um, but point being is that you can take this, okay, I just put a tad bit on my sponge, like if I wanted to cover that, I can get up in there, which mine's kind of in my hairline, so you can't really cover it. I'd have to put dark there, but anyway, it would cover it like if I had a bad scar. Um, and this is just a CC cream, which is really cool that it has that much coverage. Um, so, okay, we're going to stop there. I may come back with this, uh, but I really want to try. I have this full coverage concealer. Um, I'm not sure what color this is. I don't know. This is like the lightest one they have, though. I always just choose the lightest color because I am so fair. It doesn't say on here. I don't know. I'm sure this is a one, whatever the lightest is. I actually haven't even opened this yet, so I need to do that. And sorry, y'all. He is like going ham back there. Uh, this is why I let him run is because uh, he's just a baby. He's just, um, I don't know, a month old, a couple months old. Yeah, I guess he's about a couple months. Because when I got him, he was round about what I guessed to be about four weeks old. Um, and he is actually the fifth squirrel I have raised. Um, so that's why, <laughs> I know y'all probably think I'm crazy like letting him run, but he's really actually the, um, like calmest that I've had of all the squirrels I've had. So I let him run. He doesn't really bother anything. He pretty much stays on that dresser. So anyway, let's try this. So here we go. Boop. Okay, so it comes with like a little, <laughs> can you see that? A little um, like velvet applicator. So here we go. y'all have to forgive me if I'm doing something weird because again this is my first time doing a video so honestly I don't really know what I'm doing um I'm not sure if I should be I'm not sure if I should be looking in the camera or in the mirror so okay so anyway I just put this under my eye beauty blender as you can see okay I'm gonna look in the mirror this time see how this does. Looks like it's doing pretty good. I guess y'all are wanting to know story on him. So a client of mine, um, I'm a hairdresser y'all, and a client of mine, um, I actually went to school with her she called me you know a lot of my clients know that I've had squirrels before I'm a big animal person I've had several different kinds of animals through the years um, I'm 32 so I've had my share of animal experiences and I grew up with animals as well uh, but anyway she calls me and she tells me about this little squirrel she's got on her porch. She's like, I don't know what to do with him. He's running around. You know, he won't go away. Blah, blah, blah. And I told her, I said, well, he's probably usually around four to five weeks. They leave the nest and they start exploring and then they'll go back home to mom. You know, and then they leave the nest completely from around 10 weeks, 10 to 12 weeks typically. And they go off on their own. Um, so typically with squirrels... If you're rescuing them, you keep them up to that 10-week mark, you know, which he's pretty close to. Um, the problem with that is the squirrels are actually pretty friendly. Um, so I might actually have a hard time releasing him because I've handled him so much. So I'm going to have to figure out how to, um, <laughs> how to release him. Um, so the last couple I've had, um, 
they were older than him when I got them. So, uh, I only had them for a couple weeks. You know, just those last few weeks to get them through. And then I just was able to just let them go. You know, and they just took off. Uh, but him, I got him so young that, uh, I don't know, I've had to handle him a lot. Like, with feeding him and stuff. And so, I don't know how he'll do or what I'll do to release him. I may have to put his cage out on the porch and, like, introduce him. And if he doesn't want to go, then I guess he'll just stay with us. I guess we'll just have to build him something. But anyway, so my client calls me, tells me she's got this squirrel, whatever. And I told her, I said, well, the mom is usually nearby. So, you know, just leave him alone. He'll, if you want to, put a little water out for him or something. He might be thirsty. You know, they get dehydrated pretty easy. And it's hot. You know, I'm here in Alabama. It's hot. Uh, you know, and animals, we're all pretty nice folks around here. So animals will come up. You know, they know people give them water and stuff, so, you know, or even if people, a lot of people have, like, outdoor cats and dogs, so they will have food and stuff outside, um, which she didn't, but, anyway, so a few hours pass, and she messages me again, and she's like, this girl's still here, and I was like, I don't know, you know, I mean, I hate to interfere if I don't have to. So she ended up putting a box with some old clothes in it and some water. Well, he ended up getting in that box and sleeping. And he wouldn't go away. So finally I said, fine, I'll come up there and get him. And when I came and got him, he was just chilling out asleep in that box. So I brought him home. I had an old hamster cage, not this one. Um, there's a story on that too. This is a new cage that he has. Um, so anyway, I brought him home. Got him set up in his little cage with his heat pad and his little, there's a little sock that I use. Um, those little, like, Sherpa socks you get around Christmas time, those little slippers. I put him in that. So, he, I basically raise all my squirrels in that. So, uh, okay, pharmacy powder. This is also, I don't know the color on this one either. I don't know where the box went. A one. It's the hottest one, y'all. Okay, so it looks like this. Comes with a little foamy thing. Um, looks like you just peel off. Peel this off somehow. Oh, here we go. Okay, there's a little plastic piece on there. Peel that off. Okay. Y'all, I've had this brush for a million years. It doesn't even have a handle anymore. Okay, and look. It has... Those are teeth marks from a dog I had a few years back. He's passed away now. But he got a hold of my brush. Thank you, Bruce. Um, that was a German Shepherd I had. But anyway, here's the powder. Brush. Sorry, I have a cat digging at the door. But anyway, just pop, pop, pop. Okay. Bounce into that, and here we go. This smells nice. Okay, so anyway, back to the squirrel. Um, I end up getting him, I bring him home, get him set up, all that. So he's all good for like the first two weeks, two, three weeks actually. Um, He's like really tame, really just sleeps a lot. You know, he's just a baby. He's only like six weeks old at this point. Um, and about that eight week, seven, eight week mark is when he started getting like this. Um, I tried to record a lot of it and my friend, um, who gave him to me actually made a TikTok little story. It's real cute. But anyway, we bottle fed him. And like I said, I've done this before. So it kind of just came back to me. I've learned all the things about squirrels in the past. 
so um, we just bottle fed him he just recently like within the last week or so quit wanting milk but really it's because I took it away from him because he's too big to be drinking milk and now he just drinks water but he, he won't drink it out of the little you know the little hamster things you know that you stick on the side of the bottles you stick on the side of the cage yeah he won't use one of those he wants it out of a bowl so I don't know why all my other squirrels took to the little bottle thing he did not so anyway here he is He's having the time of his life over here, which is fine. Okay, so now I've got my foundation on. Um, powder, concealer, foundation. And this is the new peach palette. I'm very excited for this. Um, it's called Peach Bot Face Palette. Okay. Looks like this. Um, you got your bronzer, your highlighter, and your blush. Okay, they're very neutral. I'm very excited. Um, those of you who are fair like me, I can't wear very dark powders, okay, or very dark blushes and contours because I'm just too fair. It just looks weird. Um, so that's why I wanted to try this peach one before. There's another three in one, um, and it's darker it's like a more um it's this is darker this is brighter and this is more red um i have to really watch it with red blushes it just as you can see i'm already kind of pinky so i don't need more pink oh look at here that comes off <laughs> so here we go all right we're gonna start with this guy with this contour and this is an old brush y'all this is from morphe as you can see i've had it so long the name's coming off i don't know what number this is i don't know it's just it looks like this okay nothing fancy um just a blush brush all right and we're gonna dab 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 into this contour hopefully i didn't do too much and then we're gonna go right here and I want like to I have a round face so I like to come right here and contour back here too so I kind of make like a three I know a lot of people just do this and that's okay too um, I just have a very full face so I try to kind of cut that corner out y'all my dog is also in here so if you hear him I'm going to do the same on this side. Frank, do you want to say hello? Hey, come here. Say hello, right here. This is Frank. He's my baby. Yeah. You want some makeup? Boop, 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 boop. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. Excuse me. Okay, y'all. Let's do up underneath. Thank you. Thanks. And then, um, I don't have a very large forehead. Um, but because I'm so fair, I still like to add a little color. So, bronzer, right here. And I don't really like, you know how some people really come across here? Um, I personally don't like to do that because I don't have a very big forehead. Um, but if you do have a larger forehead, you can do that, um, depending on your face shape. But I like to just come in the corners right here, just to add a little color okay. 
All right, now I'm gonna take this brush. And again, y'all, I have all kinds of brushes from the years. This one's called Royal and Langnickel. I don't know, I think I got this in an Ipsy bag at one point. Um, it's just a little fat angled brush. Okay, nothing special. All right, same thing, bronzer, or I'm sorry, contour. And we're gonna come right here on the nose. Okay, y'all. I see a lot of people go ham on their nose, okay? You don't have to. I don't have a very big nose, and I know some people have larger noses that wanna make them look smaller, whatever. Y'all, we all have noses. <laughs> It's okay. We're all just people, okay? Uh, I personally don't like it when people make them look really, 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 really thin. Okay? So, I'm just going to do mine the way I like it, okay? Each their own. Do what you want. I'm going to show you how I do mine. Contour. And I just come right here. Oh, whoop. I may have used a little too much. That's all right. I just come right here underneath. Oh, I used a little too much. That's okay. All right, if you <laughs> if you like me, you go a little ham. I'm just gonna blend that out. That's okay. Okay, I just like, like to add a little color. Okay, so there's that. I'm just going to go back with my powder brush and just blend that out a little bit. Okay. That'll work. Alright, and this is a fun little trick I learned from another YouTuber. Where's the brush want? Okay, I'm going to take this little flat brush. I'm not sure what this is. I think this came in a naked palette. It's just a little flat brush. Okay. Just dab it into your contour and come right here. And that just kind of makes your nose look make sure it's clean. Kind of upturned. There's that. Alright, so now I'm gonna come in, same blush brush because I don't have a lot of brushes. I'm gonna come right here with this blush. This one may actually not be dark enough for me. Let me see. I like it. Okay, and I also like to bring it right here. So now, we're going to take another fluffy brush. Y'all, this brush is a million years old. This is from, um, what was that brand? It was on TV. It was an infomercial. I think it was called like Sheer Cover or something like that. It was one of those mineral makeups. This is one of the brushes that came with that. My mom gave me this probably 10 years ago. And it was hers before that. So anyway, this is just a fluffy brush. It's probably an eyeshadow brush. I don't know, but I use it for highlighter. So, same palette. We're going to come right here with the highlighter. Tap, tap, tap. We're going to try this one out. I like that. I don't like a ton, ton, ton of highlighter, y'all. 
I'm just gonna tap that out a little bit. Okay, and then here. Oh, pardon me, my face is itching. Okay. All right. And then um, I do like to come right here a little bit and right here. You know what y'all, I'm sitting here thinking about what I said earlier about making your nose really small. You know what, if you want to make your nose tiny, go ahead. Why not? I don't personally like to, but if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to take that same highlighter right here. Sorry y'all, he is running around crazy back there. Gonna rub that in like that. Okay. And I don't have any eyeshadow palettes from pharmacy yet. So I'm just gonna use this 31 palette. I'm just gonna continue to use that. So um, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow first and then we will do brow because I actually have their brow powder and it's really good. I like it. And so we'll we'll do that in a minute. So let's go in. Let's go in with the blush color. This one. Okay. Oh, and this is, um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is from Ulta. I remember, I cannot remember the name of this brush. Um, you know, they all look like this. And I even have, I've had these forever. Look, I've had these so long. This eyebrow, look, it doesn't even have the other side anymore. This used to be metal. Like it had little metal things you could yeah it doesn't have these anymore it just has this one so i'll just go ahead and brush my brows okay anyway it looks like this they also come in orange um i cannot remember the name of these but you'll know them they come from ulta like they're cheapy so anyway let's go in with the blush color i'm gonna go right here I like this palette, y'all. Do you see me on this fail? <laughs> earlier, I don't know, I haven't really been paying attention to him, but earlier, this jar right here, he was sitting in it. It was really cute. And that dresser that he's on, it has a, um, I redid that dresser and I added a palette top. Like I took palette boards and nailed them down. And, uh, he likes to chew. So if you hear him chewing something, that's what it is. He's trying to eat my dresser. Okay. So there's our base color. Now let's go in with that contour color. Y'all, he is just living his best life back there. I really hope I can release him. Because, uh, I can't give him what outside gives him, you know? I can't plant a tree in my house. So, I mean, I could probably build him something, but it's not the same. You know, a thousand square foot of house is not the same as acres of outside. So I would like to release him, if at all possible. All right, there's that. I don't wear a ton of eyeshadow, you guys. Although I'm a hairstylist, you would think that um, all hairstylists are super glammy, but that is really just not the case. We're going to go in with the highlighter color. I'm 
This is actually more makeup than what I usually wear to work. Go on a little more right here. Why not? Well, there we go. All right. I guess that's it for our three in one palette. Nothing fancy. Well, we could, um, take a little of this contour we could do a little bit of a smoky eye here I guess a little more highlighter um and I think they also have an eye primer from pharmacy I'm not sure but like I said, they have the regular primer for your face, so you can always use that. So there's that. Now for brows. Okay, I've had this brow powder for a while. This is one of the products I've had. Um, I think this is actually my second one, but um, this also doesn't say the color. That's one thing I'm not crazy about pharmacy is they don't label the colors on the back. But I'm pretty sure this is the light brown. Um, I think the dark brown is more like close to black. Um, that's just a little too dark for me. So it looks like this. I've had this for a while. Um, and this is actually going to last a long time. I don't know if you can see that, but you can kind of see where I've used it. But I've had this for several months and it's like barely gone. Okay, so. This is the brush I use. It's from that set of purple brushes from Ulta. Um, it's just a little angled brush. Nothing fancy. Um, I'm going to have to use another mirror because I can't see. That's the thing. I wear glasses typically and um, I can't see without them. I can see for the most part, but I can't. I need them to do my eyebrows from this far away. But I can't wear them because they get in the way. So it's kind of a kind of a catch twenty two there. Anyway, just brushing the brows. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna use this little mirror I have here. All right. So powder, brush, dab, dab, dab. All right, I'm gonna try to do this where y'all can see. This is always the hardest part. Uh, and I just start in the middle, kind of there. Okay, and I don't know if y'all can see that. <laughs> I'm a product of the 90s, okay, you guys? I'm 32. I was born in 1988. So I grew up through the 90s. Those of you who grew up with me know we flipped all our eyebrows out. So I don't have a whole lot of eyebrows. You can see. See the gaps? See that big gap right there? Um, so I kind of just try to fill those in. So um, again, I have to back up because my table's in my way. I can't get my elbow down and I've been having some trouble with my arm as well y'all um, like I said I'm a hairstylist I've been a hairstylist for 12 years now and um, this arm's kind of giving out on me so forgive me I have to get it right here close to me to, so I can see what I'm doing so can y'all see that I'm just filling in I'm not putting a ton of pressure um, and I just follow my natural brow line. I get a lot of questions about my brows. Um, as you can see, they are naturally pretty arched. Um, 
And people ask me all the time, my clients are always like, Brittany, how do you get your brows to look that way? And it's just kind of my face. <laughs> They're just kind of that way. So, but y'all, um, as you can see, mine do have some missing places. So you can always fill in a little bit to create a little more of an arch. But not everyone has a big arch like that, and that's okay. Mine just happens to be that way. Um, and super arch brows, I don't think are as in as they used to be. Because um, I think sometimes I'm perceived as looking a little angry when I'm not. So, occasionally I will do a little bit different shape and try to soften them a little. Because they are so extremely shaped. But that's just, like, my family looks like that. Most of the girls in my family have eyebrows like that. Several of my cousins. We all, like, right here. Like, if you put a lineup of all our eyes, you can't tell who's who. We all have the same colored eyes, all the same shaped eyes, all the same eyebrows. So, this is kind of how we look. So, there's that. As you can see, I don't like a super heavy front. Um, I know some people do. And if you do, you can just fill that right on in. Um, I try not to, again, because I am so fair that any sort of makeup darker than my skin looks harsh. So, uh, I try to keep it kind of natural. Not to say that sometimes I don't go a little ham. And, uh, get a little heavy on those brows. And that's okay, too. So, I'm just doing this other one. Same thing. You might can see this one a little better. On my face, and y'all. So, what I do is I kind of start here in the middle and get most of the pigment off my brush. Here in the middle. Okay, in all the little sparse spaces. And then what's left, kind of excess, I kind of feather up through here. And this eyebrow, I don't know if you can see, it's plucked in a little further. So I have to actually bring this one in a little bit. Can you see that? Sorry, I'm trying to face you. <laughs> Sometimes I have to make weird faces. Okay. Sorry, y'all. He's going crazy back there. Those look pretty even to me. I'm gonna go with it. They're cousins. Or sisters, not twins. Cousins, not twins, whatever. They just gotta kind of look alike a little bit. They don't have to be perfect. So I just come back and brush them. Typically, if I had knocked all the metal pieces um, out of this side, I would go in and do that as well, but to make sure. Because my brows are very coarse, and you really have to kind of put them where you want them or they just kind of do their own thing all right so there's that hopefully soon i'll get some palettes from pharmacy and um we can do a different eye look okay so um what's up oh i forgot this i also have this powder this uh be fit um and this is a color correcting powder and the thing with this is that it is very fair. Um, darker complexed people can use this, but it's kind of a highlighting. So it looks like this. As you can see, it has all the colors in it. Um, it's like green, purple, pink, some beige. Um, and I like this one, but let me show you what it does. Okay, I'm going to go back to that little blush brush I had, the one from Morphe. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, and I like to just go right here. I'm going to show you on this one side. 
can you kind of see how that brightened it up and y'all I like to I know a lot of people do this and I probably did do that some with my powder but anything that goes on top of that powder I like to I try to tap 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 as opposed to which I think I did that with my blush but Now I will tell you this powder does give a little bit of a flashback and what that means is um, in pictures so you don't want to use just a ton ton of this I don't like to use this all over my face um, because again I am already so fair if I use this all over my face it's a little too much I look I already look very white in pictures so um, I use this just kind of as a highlight so it looks like this I think it only comes in one color so there you go there's that all right um let's see what's next um i don't have any eyeliner from pharmacy yet so i'm just going to use one that i have here i've been using this one lately um it's this brand i'm not really sure how to pronounce that pretty popular brand though y'all know this brand um it's called wonderland and it comes with a regular pencil on one end and then it comes with like a brush on the other I assume for gel liner it did not come with a gel liner or maybe this is to like smoke it out I don't know I've never used it but this is what I've been using lately so what we're gonna do is I like to I'm old this is just how I do my eyeliner I like to put it right here always wear eyeliner I actually don't wear it very often at all I have a lot of eye trouble so. okay so there's that you know what let's try to use the brush let's um let's be brave okay I gotta get my little mirror again y'all do you see this mirror I've had this thing forever do you see this I'm sitting here wondering why I can never see in this mirror it's because I didn't peel that thing off okay anyway we're gonna go right here our brush I don't know about that because this is a really soft I think this is a coal liner gel coal liner yeah I guess that's what the brush is for So uh, I guess we'll just smudge that in a little. Okay. And y'all, I don't bring my liner all the way over here because look when I just am natural. Do you see that? Do you see how hooded my eyes are? You can barely see the eyeliner anyway. And if I bring it all the way in here, it disappears. So, um, those of you who have larger eyelids, um, my husband has beautiful eyelids. I tell him all the time I wish I had his eyelids because he has a lot of space right here and it's wonderful. I don't have that. So, I, I, I already look a little angry as it is. So, I try not to add a ton of stuff going on down here. So, so what I do, let's try this, um, for a wing. I have a hard time doing a wing too, you guys, because, again, these hoods, as you can see, kind of get in the way here. I have an aunt, um, like, a, again, as I said, we all have the same eyes, so I had an aunt who actually had to have this taken off, like this, <laughs> because we have fat eyelids, so. 
here we go. Let's give a little flick here. Now, when I was young and my eyes weren't so saggy, oh, that worked. Check that out. Uh, anyway, when I was young, I used to do more. I used to wear a lot of eye makeup because, well, for one, I was young and emo, but for two, my eyes weren't so heavy. I wasn't um, as heavy then. I was a lot skinnier. As I've gained weight, um, I've definitely gotten rounder in the face, and these have gotten bigger. I know, right? Weird. But um, I can't do as big of a wing anymore because this thing gets in the way. And no matter how, even if I try to draw it from here, um, it just still doesn't work well. So I kind of just do a very small one, if one at all. So again, on this eye, I'm going to try to get it to where you guys can see here. I may just have to show you after if you can't see because I can't really see either. I hope someone out there understands what I mean by that, by, um, by the hooded eye thing, like the issue with the chunky eyes because most people don't have that and my mother also has beautiful eyelids um, hers have a lot of space okay a little flick I actually come to think of it I believe both my sisters have a little more eyelid than me they both have hooded eyes like me, but I think they have a little bit more of mom's eyes. Um, they have a little bit more territory than I do. Okay, guys. Oh, let me get that out of the way. Sorry, that's blinding. Can you see? I just did a very small flick, and I just used... Um, as you've seen, I put that on there, and I just use my little brush to pull it out. So there's that. Okay. Sorry, y'all. The pollen here in Alabama is terrible. Everybody, I'm telling you, all my clients have come in, and they're just like snotty, snotty. Either snotty or just itchy. Like, I just feel like, I don't know, like I could just scratch the inside of my nose. Anyway, so here we are. We are to mascara. And I got this new Zen mascara. Um, and I've heard good things about this, so we're going to try it. So again, I'm going to use my little mirror because I can't see. If I can get this open. I've already gotten this thing dirty. I'm sitting here on my table. But we're going to try it, okay? And oh, also y'all, a while back I had... A knocking stuff over i had eyelash extensions so um i have some eyelashes on this eye there's two or three of them that turned down now i think i had damaged some of my follicles my hair follicles because those just go down now i don't know i've always had kind of weird eyelashes anyway that um want to flip around and do weird stuff and they're just now pretty much grown back like they were um and this wasn't my eyelash girl's fault it was my fault the girl that was doing my lashes was working at the salon with me and she ended up having to quit and, and do another career and um so I didn't have anyone to take off my lashes and I didn't know how to take them off so I just took it upon myself to try to soak them in a hot rag and try to pull them don't do that. <laughs> Those of you, if that ever happens to anyone else, please just go somewhere and pay to have it taken off because I pulled out a crap ton of my lashes. Like, they were so bald. Like, if I tried to put mascara on them, it just made it more evident of how many were missing. So, for a while, I did not wear 
any mascara because it looked ridiculous. So now they are grown back. It's been like three months, I think. Um, and I've just really tried to baby them. And um, so we're going to try this mascara. I have been wearing mascara the last few weeks because I finally have enough lashes. Um, but my sister has raved about this, so we're going to try it. So here we go. And just excuse my dirty thing. I've already gotten this dirty somehow. I don't know. I got powder or something on it. So here we go. Ooh. Can you see that? Okay. It's one of those little plastic prickly brushes. I really like these. These kinds of brushes. So here we go. some of y'all come down on top of your lashes um i've tried to do that so many times and it just never works for me i don't know like it ends up like clumping my lashes up so i just don't do that now if that works for you by all means you do you Oh, I like this mascara. Nice. Okay. So, I think I've already gotten it down here, though. I did. Okay, I got it under my eye. So, what we're, what we're going to do... I'm going to take the lid of my foundation... And this little bitty brush I have. Also out of those purple brushes that I don't know the name. I don't know where my squirrel went. I might need to check on him. Rocky! Little boy. He might be resting somewhere. Okay. Oh, I hear him. He's getting tired. Yeah, if I hear him chewing on something. Wow, you guys. Look at them bottom lashes. That was like my saving grace during that whole crazy time with my lashes was if I did wear mascara, at least I had some bottoms left. Okay, this is kind of a wet mascara, so I'm going to let this dry for just a minute. Rocky. Little boy. Okay. Can y'all see the before and after? Again, I don't have huge lashes. You know, I had really big lashes when I was young. I'm telling you, when you get over 30, man, no bueno. Everything just starts changing like crazy. Like, I turned 30 and I had a friggin' wisdom tooth come in. Like, what is that? Okay, so I do like this mascara so far, you guys, but I will tell you, you gotta watch it, because it is a wet mascara, oh, I got a fuzzy, and I feel like this is one of these, if you don't watch it, it'll clump really easy, 
but I bet this will be good after a few uses. You know how mascara does? Like, you use it for a month and then it's better. Like, it dries out a little and it's not so wet and clumpy. I think this will be one of those. But I do like it. If you like a lot of mascara, this is the mascara for you. I do think you need to be careful because it will club quickly because it's so wet. Which, again, if I had the metal things that were on this at one time, you can brush that out. But if not, I don't want to tell you to put something sharp near your eye, but I have been known to use a pin, like a safety pin or something, or an earring to um, clump those. Um, we're not going to do that right now. I do have one that's a little clumped. I don't know if you can see it right there. Yep, that chunky one right there. But it's not too bad, so I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to quit looking at it. But overall, I like it. Um, let's get some lipstick on. My lips are looking a little dry. Let me... Um, I got some tissue here. So, I'm just gonna wipe the makeup off. Rocky! I wear my squirrel over that. Little boy! He's probably in my closet or something, like chewing on something. Okay, um, got my lips cleaned off. Okay, and this is also not pharmacy, but this is what I have sitting here. This is from Sugar Rush. It's a little chapstick, and it's called Best Bud peony y'all this smells like cotton candy i love this chapstick um if they made this in a perfume oh my god so sugar rush please make this in a perfume because this smells amazing but what we're gonna do okay you can see i've had it for a while i just dab my finger in it Here's that. Let me put this up. Okay, let me see what I have in here. That's not lipstick. I don't think I have any pharmacy lipstick. But. Sure, I have some, some lipstick around here somewhere. lipstick somewhere. Hang on, you guys. Oh. Yep. I just have to retrieve them. This is an old Ipsy bag. I don't think I have any pharmacy lipstick. What is this? Oh, I do have this. So sparkly. This one is from Hank and Henry, Los Angeles. Uh, this one's called Lust and Watch. Oh, well, you couldn't see. Isn't that cool? 
and it looks like this it was really sparkly when it came in this came in a boxy I did boxy charm for a while um, this came in there um, now I did buy some pharmacy lipstick for my mom um, cannot remember the color but it was something similar to this it was kind of a nude um, so let's try this I think I've only ever used this once I can't remember what it looks like if I do wear lipstick you guys this is kind of the colors I go for with my husband he does not like when I wear a lot of makeup not that I really care but he particularly doesn't want lipstick